This is a 12 minute video for runners. Do this for 21 days, that's your challenge, and see what it does for your running performance. All right, we're getting ready to move. Lift the arms up over the head, big stretch up out of one side, then the other. Your belly's gonna be pulled flat. You're not gonna be sucking it up beneath the ribs. You're gonna keep that belly flat. Nice big stretch up, reaching all the way out of the heels. Neck is long, chin is in. Taking the hands behind the back, really puff the chest up. You bend forward, try to get your shoulders over your hips, knees are bent, very, very fluid through the hips. You're gonna tuck the pelvis and flat back, going back and forth. Pretty sexy moves, but uh, you're not doing this necessarily in public. And then go from side to side. Neck is nice and long, really trying to stabilize the upper body. Belly's pulled in, knees are working. Good, you lift your heart up. I still got that chin in, you do too. Hands go up over the head, big fold forward. Both hands come down flat to the mat, shake the heads out. Neck is nice, neck is nice and long, belly's pulled in. Twisting open, lift that heart up. You can feel that across the back and back of the legs. Work in the back of the legs. We need to get those legs working for that run. And your hamstrings are gonna be nice and tight in the beginning of this. They'll loosen up because we have a very active stretch going on. Walk the hands back, walk the feet, uh, uh, walk the hands forward, walk the feet back, sorry. Belly's pulled in. You come forward into a nice little plank. And then you come on down, lifting your heart up. And you come back down. Float on up, a little bit of a stretch in the front of the body. Feel that between the shoulders, neck is nice and long. Tops of feet are pressed in the mat, belly's pulled in, lift it on up, good. Taking the hands behind the back, reach your knuckles way down, lifting up, really activating your back muscles. You know, when you go for a run, a lot of times you'll uh, bend forward a little bit much, too much, your head comes forward, neck is nice and long, good. Get that nice big stretch. And have the hands just outside the chest, you can float on up, Come up on the all fours. I'm going to send the back up towards the sky, chest slides forward. You're doing your cat cows. A lot of you can come a lot more farther forward than I can. Belly's pulled flat. Good. Neck is nice and long. Maybe press the tops of feet in the mat. Hands are grounded on the mat. Elbows are soft. Draw a nice little circle. This is where you bring out that uh, inner modern dancer. Get very, very fluid here, very expressive. Breathe in and breathe out. Maybe even put a little fake smile on it. Now, the left leg goes out, you're gonna pulse her up and down. Notice the left foot is flexed back. That's gonna really open up the back of the hamstring. And pulse that leg up and down about 24 times, two sets of 12. Belly's pulled in, knees coming in towards that left shoulder, keeping the knee high. Left foot is flexed back, belly's pulled in. You can do about 12 of these. Breathing in, breathing out. Try to breathe in and out through the nose if that's possible. Just kind of keep that breath under control. Good, belly's pull flat. Now from here, you're gonna pulse that left leg up and down. I've got the left ankle flexed very, very deeply. Those toes are coming back towards the knee. That's gonna keep it from clicking in the knee. We wanna watch out for our knees when we're going on our runs. And again, we go to the other side. Left knee comes down the middle of the mat. Right leg goes out. Same thing as on the other side. I've got that right foot parallel to the floor. Foot is flexed back. Leg is as long as I can get it. We got 24 count on this. You do these a little bit slower, a little bit faster. Just make sure you're doing them as precisely as possible. Knees coming in towards the uh, shoulder. Again, I'm keeping that knee nice and high. Neck is long. Belly's pulled flat. Not looking back at the knees. You're looking between the hands. Really feeling that in the hips, warming up the hips. This could be really good for you when you go on that run. I suggest you do this before. You can even do it after a run, particularly if you're new to uh, running and or if you've been running so much, you're starting to get a little bit tired. You can bring it down, come down a nice little hold here, a little half push up, half chaturanga. Good, lower on down, chest comes up, belly's pulled flat. You can lower down, hang and hold here, just breathe in and breathe out. And stay here for maybe a count of five. Good, come all the way down. It's gonna work through your shoulders. Neck is nice and long. A lot of times we'll carry tension in the shoulders when we're running. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Good, floating on up. Belly's pulled flat. We don't go into a child's pose. Now you're gonna have that uh, right forearm come across the mat. I've taken that left leg out, pointing the toe. It's drifted out to the left about Oh, maybe uh, uh, an eighth of my range of motion there. Belly's pulled flat, about uh, 7.30. 
Good, and I'm gonna kick out to the uh, left side, reaching out through the heels, toes are flexed back, trying to get that leg as long, moving very smoothly, no jamming in the joints. Really gonna feel this in the hamstring and that uh, hip, also it's all the way through the belly, pulsing it up and down, breathing in, breathing out. Try to have as much control, precision is so important here. Notice my hands are open, that down arm that's across the mat, hand is open, it's not clenching the fist. I'm not holding any tension where I don't need it. And I have that uh, right leg go out. Again, I take it out a little bit. You see a bit, a little clearer here. You can see that it's out about 4.30 on that imaginary clock, pulsing up now. I'm pointing that foot as much as I can. Again, my left hand is open. Knee comes in. I'm gonna kick out as far as I can to the right. I'm not gonna let that knee pop very, very smoothly moving through that kick and it's kicking high the entire time. Then that leg is gonna go out, we're gonna hold it out there, and then pulse it up and down. Be a little bit more fatigued on this side than the other side, because already the pelvis is really starting to warm up. Pulsing that up and down 24 times, or either 12 or 24, do what you can. Belly's pulled flat, good. And you need to come back, let's tuck the toes under. So you have your toes tucked under, so pointing towards the knee, get that little toe in there and really feel what that feels like. Try to stretch your feet out. If this is super hard to do this with your knee bent this much, put something behind the knee, like a block or you put a towel underneath your heels. Then I've come on the knuckles of the toes. Now I'm gonna to stretch out the top of the foot. Very important to take care of your feet, particularly when you're going on runs before and after. Open them up, breathing through the nose. Good, now I'm gonna come on back, opening up the front of the ankle, sit back down. Again, you can always put a block underneath your seat or on top of your heels to give your knees a little bit of space. Do try to work uh, those knees as deep as you can, patting out the feet, letting all that tension go. Good, now from here, I'm gonna get a hold of a block. These are really important exercises I find for me. Uh, getting a little bit older, I'm uh, getting pretty stiff in the legs and this really helps me open up my ankles, my knees, my hips. I'm working everything together. I'm gonna go up, and down about 90% of my range of motion about backing off about uh, 5% top and bottom and going up and down feet are straight meaning my second toe is drawing a straight line right through my ankle notice my toes are floating off the mat I'm really working the arch of the foot in combination with the ankle with the knee and with the hips fingertips on the floor if you can't get your hands on the mat get a chair put that in front of you get your neck nice and long and you're gonna do 50 of these. I do 50 of these, couple, two, three times a day in classes. It's not impossible to do. You're gonna feel this right away. This is gonna help you with everything. It's gonna help you just even sitting at work is gonna be brilliant. It's also gonna help you with your sprint. So get 50 of those done. Try to have your hands as wide, your fingers can be as wide as you can get them. Really feel this in your hands, your forearms. Again, elbows are not locked out. Breathing in and breathing out as much as you can through the nose, in and out. You do this, 50 seems like an awful lot, doesn't it? Coming on up, now I'm gonna switch this out a little bit. Belly's pulled in, neck is nice and long. Great exercise. So I've got the blocks on end. This is gonna be the easiest one. You can also get a little bit higher. And notice I'm rocking back on the heels. How those feet go out, then they come in. This is a great active hamstring stretch. You're gonna love this one. So you come on down, and with the blocks, that makes it easier. And I'm coming down slowly. There's no bounce in any of this. I've got the hands on those blocks. I'm gonna get rid of the blocks in just a little bit. Try to get my uh, hands on the floor. The blocks on edge makes it a little bit more challenging. Then they come flat, it's more challenging. You finally get your hands on the mat. And this is a great way to stretch your hamstrings. Again, it's active stretching, not quite ballistic. Breathing and breathing out, they open up a lot of the joint in the hip. The knees are tracking, ankles are tracking. This will get rid of a lot of little glitches you might have in your stride. Belly's pulled in, good. Now this one is really good if you feel it all faint, come out of it immediately. Feet are straight. I've got that other block between the thighs. I'm resisting against both of those. I'm squeezing that block between the thighs, come down, trying to get my thighs as parallel floor as I can. Hold here for count of three, Just come up slowly. Again, no bounce in this in the beginning. I got a six count come up, six count lower, three count hold, thighs are parallel to the floor. 
If you want to, you've got hand weights at home, put them in your hands. You can carry them like luggage or carry your hands over the head like I'm doing here. Your belly's pull flat the entire time. We're not gonna let that go because that's gonna support your low back. Float on down. Using class, you do five of these. And on the fourth one, get a little bit of a bounce. This is the bounce I'm talking about. You do 12 of those, very smooth, very slow. I'm not hyper extending the knee at all. I'm staying within a very, very safe range. Get any clicking, any really uh, sharp pain, obviously you're not gonna do it. Hold there for just a little bit and you float on up. Belly's pull flat, neck nice and long, good. Coming down onto the back, squeezing that block. Heels are gonna dig in the mat. Be very careful with this. You're not gonna let your feet slide at all. Pulsing the hips up off the mat, feet are flexed back. Again, we're working on the calf. You've been running, your calves gonna get tight. This is gonna help you with that. This is also gonna help you with your kick at the end of your run, if you're gonna get into a, a little sprint. So I'm gonna do this 24 times, bellies pull flat, floating the hips up off the floor, making sure those heels don't slide around because that could potentially hurt that hamstring. Now, this is a higher challenge here. You've got one leg lifting off the mat. You're gonna pulse it up for about 12 of those. And then we're gonna switch that leg out, belly's pulled in and then have that uh, other leg come up, the opposite one, pulse her up and down 12 times. Feel a cramp coming on, you can always just come down, shoot the legs straight out. And again, I've got my uh, uh, chest is uh, very, very, I have my head up off the mat, hands go behind the head. Getting a little bit longer here, I've made a shallower angle with the knees, I got the feet flexed back. You're just gonna hold everything from your shoulder blades down to your heels off the mat. This includes the head, this includes the arm. Hold here for about a count of 10. Belly sucking right up underneath the ribs. And you float on back down. Good, get a nice little stretch. Do a second one. Have those feet flex back. See my feet are active. You've got your legs are active. Belly's being sucked right up beneath the rib cage. Chest is, uh, again, off the mat as much as you can get it. Head is off the mat. Belly's pulled in. Then we come back down. Good, and reach out, one hand over the top. Good, nice little stretch, very passive stretching. Good. Trying to get a little bit more length all the way along. Bring your knees in, rock it out from side to side. Have your low back flat on the floor, it's like a massage, a lot cheaper. Just rock it out from side to side, neck is long, trying to get him pressed right into the floor. Good work. Mm -hmm.